Good morning everyone. We're off to Tasmania. So join us on our trip. So we did this big 2000 kilometer road trip around Tasmania starting in Hobart. Uh, we went to Swansea, um, to Cape Tula, which is uh, located near Frasernet National Park. Uh, then we went up to Launceston, uh, visited a lavender farm, went to Cradle Mountain, Queenstown, Gordon Dam, Bruni Island, and then finished our journey in Hobart. So Dilney was 30 weeks pregnant at the time of filming. Um, so we didn't do the major hikes in Frasernet National Park and in Cradle Mountain, but we certainly went to some very, very scenic places. So hope you guys um, enjoy the series. Off to Cape Two Wheel. Okay, so we came to the Wine Glass Bay Visitor Center, which was about a five minute drive from Coles Bay. Uh, we inquired about the Wine Glass Bay lookout, the famous lookout. So if you want to go to the picturesque lookout, um, it's about uh, 400 steps. Um, so they say to budget around an hour and a half. Um, to get to the lookout and back uh, to the car park. If you want to actually go to Wine Class Bay, like the, the beach area itself, uh, it's a thousand steps. Um, so, and it's a bit, bit of a longer hike. Um, alternatively, um, if you're not up for a hike, what you can do is head to Cape Tourville, which is essentially a drive from the visitors car park. So you can drive all the way up there and it's just a a short section um, on a boardwalk so uh, very accessible so that's what we're going to do all right so we're on the boardwalk um, it's a leisurely 10 minutes walk around it uh, taking in the beautiful views and it offers a very different perspective of wine glass bay So the Cape Tobel walk offers a very different perspective of Wine Glass Bay Lookout. Um, still recommend doing the hike and getting the, um, the picturesque weave yourself, but this is certainly a worthy addition to anyone's trip. Yeah. Yeah. There are quite a number of accommodation options in Coles Bay and the Frasernet National Park area, including uh, luxury lodges as well. Um, in our case, we decided to head back to Swansea for the night. 
So tonight we're staying in the Swansea Holiday Park. Uh, let's go and have a look. We've got a uh, dining table and a kitchen, a bathroom, and a the lounge area here. And then we've got. A bedroom is just over here. Got a queen size bed, I think. Um, it's just perfect, just for for a one night. So the accommodation backs up straight into a beach, so you can just walk down. It's a bit windy. Accommodation can be a little bit more expensive in summer and can also sell out. Um, in terms of food, some of these small towns only have a few restaurants and they do close early. So check with the hotel staff as to where to go in the area or, and what time they close. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. We're in long system at the cafe. What did you mean? It is uh, chili scrambled eggs. Looks really good. We got the same. Both of us got the same thing, but it's on different colored plates. <laughs> So this was the best cafe star breakfast that we've ever had. It's called Samba Chili Scrambled Eggs. It's a perfect touch of the Western and Eastern flavors mixed. We were a little bit doubtful because it was a mix of different flavors, but definitely one of the best cafe star breakfasts we've ever had. All right, so experiences of walking through Launceston. Uh, it's quite a quaint town. Uh, kind of reminds us of Wellington in New Zealand. Um, there are some big shops like Myers and um, all the major uh, clothing shops are also available here. Um, so it's a good pit stop, it's a good place to stock up on groceries if you're planning to uh, cook. Uh, get petrol here as well, uh, it's a little bit cheaper than some of the smaller towns um, and there's quite quite a few nice historic buildings as well in amongst um, newer buildings so it's got its charm um, it's a great place to stop and also enjoy the cafe scene like we did this morning yeah lovely little cafes and places to eat for sure Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please do give us a like and a subscribe. Tune in to the next episode. Uh, we'll be visiting Cataract Gorge located in Launceston and driving about 50 kilometers north of Launceston to visit a lavender farm.